I'm over on the roof of Chill Plant 2. I always got to check out my towers and got a nice full moon up here. See, I thought I'd see if I could capture the moment. We got the moon on one side and we got what's starting to be one of those really nice sunrises on the other. This is what I was hoping for the other day when I was up in the mountains trying to capture that early morning. I just love sunrise and sunset. Just the sky is on fire. Let me see if I can bring that in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Looking good. All right, I'll turn you back on later. We got uh, we got a lot of work to do here. All right, a couple of you guys might recognize this stuff here. We got a uh, now this would be a this is a fire tube boiler. The ones I showed you at the other plant were water tube boilers, and this one you've got the main flame goes down the center and then comes back through all these little tubes and that's how you get your, your your steam that way so I'll give you a give you a look at both of them they're putting new tubes in this one this one's uh, done this is an old Kiwani boiler okay here's a nameplate maximum working pressure 15 pounds steam that'd be low pressure looking for the date hey bro do you know how old this thing is got to be 30, 40 years old. Yeah. So here's the old tubes that they pulled out. Somebody will get a little Christmas money maybe for scrapping these babies out. And just cut them out with a torch. And then they're going to put these new tubes in. And to seal the end, they got a special tool that rolls it. It just, uh, it's a, hmm... They don't weld it, it's just rolled in and the, the force, the friction, because uh, these things got to move as it heats up, expands and contracts, but it stays watertight. Pretty amazing that it lasts all those years. This is uh, what that little boiler is for, that little fire tube boiler for heating these uh, greenhouses here. Yeah. The uh, pipe fitters were clued me in on this, and they work out of the same basic department that I do. So I've been telling people for a long time. I've been posting stuff on YouTube. They don't uh, care to watch it. They get enough of me during the day, but they get more comfortable. I've been slipping out the camera and carrying it around, and uh, so I. I don't know if they'd appreciate being up on YouTube, so I'll respect that, but look at these old valves. That's what the project is. Once we get that steam boiler fixed, then we're going to uh, have to make sure all these systems work. And, and uh, one of the guys was telling me this is one of the older valves, and <laughs> it doesn't leak. Some of the new ones are giving, us, giving them fits, but uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Low pressure steam. Man, talk about, uh, I hate to pay the public service bill for all of this stuff. And uh, what were these, uh, look at how this, uh, I'm not sure how this works. Oh, this is for opening windows. You got this, uh, this chain set up and all this linkage. And so when it gets too hot in here, they can just, you know, open a whole, this whole building's windows for ventilation kind of a neat deal old school stuff that's still in service and working not like this fancy new stuff boy look at the <laughs> three 
<laughs> baseboards are triple. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, so you got these uh, ones going around the perimeter on the base. I don't even know if that stuff works anymore, but you could tell that it was there and did. And then later on, maybe in addition to or instead of, I'm not sure, they put these uh, hanging units in there. I'm not much of a gardener, so this is all pretty fascinating to me. The, you got these uh, big fans in the walls to get uh, ventilation, I guess. And uh, here's something that's kind of interesting. Let me, uh, let me get the whole shot here, get back far enough. This is some sort of a hydro hydrophonics hydrophonic uh, planner where they have these in you don't use any dirt they've taken these pipes this looks like it's homemade but I, I don't care this is cool uh, so you, you get your little uh, oh what do they call it? a little pot a little plant clay pot or something I don't know and they have small ones and it fits in these pipes and then they have a uh, reservoir that sits down here and they just keep uh, cycling so the roots are never in dirt and they they do their thing and they add uh, chemicals nutrients fertilizers to the water hydrophonics am I saying that right maybe uh, but uh, I'll have to come back this summer check that out that's a that's a neat idea there's so many ways of doing things Here's one of those little baskets, evidently. And then the the roots. Okay. So you put your, I don't know, I guess you start your plant in, uh, in, in water. I've seen, seen that done before. And then you just uh, set it in there and, and it starts growing. Probably, uh, probably some kind of uh, viney leafy thing. I don't know if tomatoes would work in that. Huh. Pretty cool. Learn something new every day. Hydrophonics. Sounds like uh, hooked on phonics, you know? How to <laughs> how to read and write. And then here we've got this uh, this must be for humidification humidification. Uh, this is the same kind of stuff they use in swamp coolers to, uh, well maybe it's, well maybe this was air conditioning. Okay, we've been looking at all this heating stuff. So you get cooling and humidity by using these uh, little water walls here. Obviously I don't have a clue what I'm talking about, but I love anything that's old and I, I just love to see all these structures. It looks like there's more uh, linkage and devices to lift the peak of the roof huh fascinating yeah, I had a chance to come down here today had the camera in my pocket so thought I'd uh, show you guys well I may be missing my ride back so I better find those guys and saddle up so talk to you later Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy jeezy. Ow.